What is going on my fellow YouTubers? This is Ricky J Baby from Ricky J Sports and welcome to this new series called Time to Grapple. And what we're doing in this series is I'm going to take part in some online unranked matches just to try to get better as a grappler because I'll be honest with you guys, I feel like I'm a one-dimensional fighter when it comes to fighting against guys in Division 8 and 7. You know, I'm really good in the stand-up game, but in the clinch game, you guys know if you've been following me for a year or so, my clinch game isn't the greatest, and my ground game is, is okay, but I want to get better, and the only way to get better is not to play against the computer. No, don't do that. But it's to play online in some unranked matches. So that's what we're going to do. This series is called Time to Grapple, and our focus is going to be on grappling. Enjoy. All right, here we go. We are using George St. Pierre. And as I said in the intro of this video, you know, I'm trying to change up my ways, man. Trying to change up my ways. Trying to get better in the clinch and on the ground. Because I found that when I was fighting, I was trying to just sprawl and brawl. Trying to be just a stand-up fighter. And that's not how you get better in the game. So as a new kind of like series to my channel I'm gonna try to focus on more the grappling aspect but that doesn't mean I'm not gonna strike that doesn't mean I'm not going to you know try to take my opponent out but number one will be the grappling realm so my battery's low look at this sound the alarms people my battery is low oh and I just took a head kick I'm trying to oh well, maybe I gotta wait till the end of the round man I gotta wait till the end of the round this is just too much I can't put it up and then, um, you know, try to survive. But what I'm going to try to do is, there, clench. And see. Oh, man. And I'm rocked. I'm rocked. And that's okay. See. And I'm noticing this guy is... See, he's really trying to focus on that one side. And even he tried to go for the whip there. And just knee. And he's going to try it again. Look at that. Look at that. And that's okay. And let's see if I could submit him. He has no stamina whatsoever. And this is on unranked, by the way. This is on unranked. The reason being, I just want to try new things if I lose great if I win even better <laughs> you know what I'm saying and there we have it a first round victory kind of sloppy not the greatest well like he quit not the um, the greatest fight but it was a good fight it was a good fight because I um, you know I did pretty good in the clinch I guess I did okay. I did get rocked though. Look, come on. Let's be critical. I did get rocked, but then, you know, I noticed my opponent wasn't managing his stamina and then I just slapped on a nice little choke. But let's get in on another fight with another great grappler. Hang on. Here we go. Check it out. The classic striker versus grappler. And we are obviously Damian Maya. And let's see what we could do, man. Let's see let's see what we could do. I turned the commentating off just for this video. Let me know if you like that. Just to kind of switch things up. But again, I am trying to focus on the grappling realm, but I don't want to telegraph it. Don't want to telegraph it. And in this situation, I know Thompson's gonna throw some bomby kicks. So I'm every missed kick is gonna be in a takedown attempt. Come on, baby. Oh, nice. And I did not mean to go for that takedown. Man, if he doesn't throw kicks, I'm going to try to clinch him. He's doing a good job. Nothing. Here we go. Yeah, block that. Oh, he's backing away. And the good thing about 
if you are good in the clinch, it really opens up your stand-up game because that's what this guy is going to be looking for. He, he's going to be looking for the clinch. Oh, I got it. I'm just going to try to back him up. Yeah, uppercut. I love the uppercuts in the clinch. Look at Maya. <laughs> Maybe I'll... Oh, time to take down. How about that? If he goes straight up, it's a choke. He's not doing it. A lot of you guys say get back mount. Oh, I'm going to try to climb his back. Suplex. Most guys like to go right in this situation. Fake. He's content. He's content with waiting it out. Deny, baby. This is the only way to get better, man. Practice on ranked matches. Oh, I thought I had that. Nice. And he's up. Interesting start. And he's egging me on. Yeah. And I'm going to keep it on the feet. Till oh, nice. I'm going to keep it on the feet till this round ends. Yeah. A little fire back. <laughs> Good little round. Good little round. Nice. Nice little head kick right there. But let me know in the comment section below some of your tricks when it comes to the grappling game. I really want to get better in the clinch. I feel like my ground game is decent. My number one attack when I play, to be totally honest, is my stand-up game. I feel like my stand-up game is good um, and then it's my ground games pretty good and then my clinch has always been that little dark cloud that's been hovering over me so that's one thing I want to work on is the clinch so let me know some of your secrets like how to deny tie for me when to deny I just look for my opponent to go into tie that's what everybody does so see how it says tie on the right going to the right so I just focus on R2 and and right analog, because you know he's gonna do it. See? And then if he backs off, that's fine. Oh, I got it. Oh, he, he tried the foot stop. Marco Huas. Remember him? <laughs> oh, no, come on! How can I get better if you're going to quit when I'm trying things? Come on. Well, <laughs> I was doing well. I really like pulling at the neck and doing those little uppercuts. I feel like I could see my opponent's moves a little bit better. It's getting me excited. I really feel like, you know, you push right or push back on the left analog and punch and you do those nice little uppercuts it's better than the elbows man it's better than the elbows but let's get in on another fight hopefully our opponent doesn't quit all right look at this we're using josh barnett who's great in the clinch and on the ground but we are facing somebody's creative fighter and their ranks man their ratings is his guy's rating is 100 overall so i don't know how this is gonna go but again focusing on focusing on my clinch this guy's talking focus on the clinch and ground game. oh my gosh the dirtiest trick in the book <laughs> and this guy's a beast look how big he is oh gotta be careful looks like he's a boxer looks like he's a boxer Oh, that's okay. Oh, I, I I did not mean to do that. Pa 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 pa. <laughs> oh, he's taunted. 
Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, not something you want to do against a Josh Barnett. Oh, is he getting up? Oh. Wow. Oh, he's out. He's trying it again. Oh, no, he's getting up. Oh. I'll hit him up on the feet. But again, this is not what this... <laughs> I have to remember, this series is about getting better as a grappler. Nice. This guy's good. Oh! But against Josh Barnett, what you gonna do? And again, he's getting up. Let's go, big boy. There we go. Oh, he just ragdolled me. <laughs> he just ragdolled me. But again, just being patient. Oh, I swung him back a bit. I gotta switch stands. Oh, once I. That's perfect timing. Once I switch stands, he's calling me in, too. Oh, bad timing, bad timing. Well, kind of hurt him there. Again, this guy, <laughs> he is a hundred fighter. <laughs> but that's okay. That's not going to limit me in my quest to get better as a grappler. Now, I'm trying to think here. Again, if he misses with some wild punch and his foot, his feet are kind of out of position. Oh, I'm not falling for that. I'm going to try to go for that takedown. So I'm going to be a little careful. Be like Dan Severn. Don't throw a punch. Oh, but his takedown defense is golden. And he gets up. So this is where, you know, maybe I had to resort to... To my striking. Papa. Trying to get the beast down. That's okay. And he is slowing down. <laughs> oh, I tried to clench him. <laughs> I actually did try to clinch him there. Here we go. And again, this awkward way that he's fighting. That's my best way of getting people when they try to um, transition. Yeah. Oh, smacking me around a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, uppercuts feeding him. Fist full of uppercuts. No, I see I did not mean to do that. I'm trying to clinch. Wow, he ran he's running out of gas. Needs a gas station. <laughs> Here we go. He's gonna go up the middle. There we go. Again. <laughs> Barnett. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, he pushes me away. Getting him to think. He's not happy, man. This guy's not happy. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, but I am trying to get better as a grappler. Oh, oh there down he goes. It's over. It's over. So, yeah, no, I like that, man. I really do like when, you know, your opponent gets up in the cage. I'm always used to being on the receiving end of this. It's good to be on the offensive end and taking my opponent out with some clinch action. Man, that felt good. I really like setting it up, setting that knee up with some nice little uppercuts. And then when you deny going right into that knee because he's expecting a series of uppercuts. But that was fun, man. That was fun. Let me know what you think about this new series you know it's just it's good to switch things up it's good to get better as a fighter and hopefully you guys enjoyed this and let's get some dialogue going on with respect to the clinch game and the ground game all right people this is ricky j baby from ricky j sports and you are